Hello my loves, my name is Mina, welcome to my channel Lena Reads, and today I am giving you my favorite workplace romance recs because I am just so obsessed with the workplace romance trope. Jim and Pam from The Office, they really changed something irrevocably about my DNA and I just eat up a workplace romance every single time. They really did that for me and yeah, so I'm here to deliver you guys with the gift of my favorite workplace romances and why I absolutely love them and why I think that you should read them. So to get us started, uh, I am going to talk about Office Hours by Katrina Jackson. Absolutely love this one. This is about two professors, Deja and Alejandro. They both work at this university in similar departments. They see each other at faculty meetings and things of that nature, and they both have mutual crushes on each other. Um, but they're just both a bit too nervous to act on it. And this is just a really cute workplace romance about them kind of coming together, overcoming their fear of interacting with one another. And it also has this really nice like university setting there's like some office banging like it's really really fun it's really really cute but it also talks about like academic burnout and what it's like to work in academia and I just absolutely love that but like Alejandro and Deja they're just so good together the way that they emotionally support each other their relationship is just really cute it's really sexy like it just gives it just gives I loved it and it really fed like my hot professor fantasy I was living for it. Alejandro, one of my all-time favorite book boyfriends, he's just that guy. Like, he was just so... And can we talk about the cover? Can we talk about the cover for a second? Look, look at this man. Tell me you wouldn't have a crush on him. Anyway, absolutely love this one. Highly recommend it. It's just so good, so cute. I love it. Also, I think it recently came out on audio, on Scribd. So, like, if you're more of an audiobook type of reader, today's your lucky day. So then we've got Equivalent Exchange by Christina C. Jones. Christina C. Jones is that girl. There's going to be another one of her books on this list as well. But Christina C. Jones has this book, Equivalent Exchange. And Equivalent Exchange is about these two characters, Lakin and Carice. And so basically, this is about Carice. She's kind of going through a rough time. She shows up at a bar one day, and she just has a drink after a rough day. And she meets this guy named Lakin. He's a bartender, or so she thinks. And uh, they meet, they share a drink, and then they have a lovely little night together. She ends up being the new consultant for his liquor distillery slash distribution company and things are a little bit awkward but they go from there and Lakin is convinced absolutely convinced that she is his soulmate based off the power of this one night stand he's obsessed with her and he thinks that she is absolutely his soulmate they're meant to be he saw a sign he's seen her in his dreams like he he just knows that they're meant to be and Carice is like I don't know about all that and I'm working for you it's just I don't know I don't know but absolutely love them. This is very much, I want to say, like a grown folks romance. Like the characters, they communicate with each other so well. The consent is so plain and so simple and like, you know, at every level they are discussing their relationship and their boundaries and how everything's going to work for them. And I absolutely love that. And it's just so cute. It's so cute. It's so fun. I love them. They're an amazing couple. Their book is so sexy. And I just ate it up. Also, I feel like if you're a person who kind of likes the soulmates trope and like the instant love trope, you're going to eat this up because Lakin is immediately in love with her, obsessed with her, and he believes without a shadow of a doubt that she is his soulmate. So I feel like if this is something that like speaks to you, you will love this. You will eat it up. Next book is going to be Determining Possession, also by Christina C. Jones. So this is a workplace romance about these two sports commentators. Uh, the girl... So the woman, Wilhelmina, she is a previous like Olympic track star and the man, his name is Ramsey and Ramsey is like, he was like a quarterback on a football team but he's currently retired and so they're both two famous but retired athletes who work as sports commentators on this like sports news channel and so yeah, they're co-anchors, I think that's what it's called? They're co-anchors and they're friends and they like each other, everything's good, but Will has been in a relationship for a really long time and at the start of the book she is getting out of this long-term shitty relationship and Ramsey is kind of there to swoop in and save the day and be the man of her dreams and I love it so so much and also he's a short king. He's only like 5'6 or 5'7 or something like that, like relatively short for a romance hero and I love that. I, in the romance genre I feel like it's just a staple for the hero of the romance novel to be like six foot 
11 inches he's just like the hugest man that the girl has ever seen and she's always like small and petite and dainty but that's not the way that like the physical descriptors are done in this and I absolutely love that which is really fun so I think it's a perfect combination of like sports romance workplace romance and friends to lovers romance so if any of those tropes are your thing you will absolutely love this then I'm going to recommend a new favorite romance of all time which is real by Kennedy Ryan this book is so good so emotional so sexy it is just the most moment uh, and you guys need to read it. So Real is essentially about this character named Nevaeh. So Nevaeh is doing a Broadway show and her show ends up being witnessed by this really famous director. His name is Cannon. And so Cannon sees her and immediately says, okay, she is going to be the lead in my new movie. Like I just have to make it happen. Even though she's never worked on film before, like I just know that she is going to be the only person who can really bring my vision to life. And so he basically flies her out to Hollywood and he's like, yeah, you're the star of my new movie. Let's make it happen. This is kind of like a forbidden workplace romance because he's her boss. She's an employee and he really does not want to cross those kind of boundaries with her. Um, he just thinks it would be so unprofessional and it could perhaps affect the, you know, the outcome of the movie. Um, he doesn't want there to be a whole scandal about, you know, workplace romance between them. He just kind of can't help how much he is attracted to her and she is very much into him and it's just so so good like the tension between them is so wonderful and I wouldn't necessarily say it's a slow burn but it definitely does take them some time to like start up their relationship and I just love that the tension of it all the angst it was amazing and then the book is also really really sexy at some points I was like shook and shaken a little bit it was really giving but then it's also really emotional and I absolutely love it this also has chronic illness rep Nevaeh she does have lupus and so her lupus is discussed and it's just a really really beautiful book great couple tension the angst the romance the writing is also just absolutely gorgeous so it's so many like beautiful beautiful romantic as fuck quotes in this that you will just be eating it up you will love it I I truly can't imagine like a single thing that you could dislike about it because it's just such a well done book so i think that everyone should read it if you have not already it's just it's just all right so then i'm going to recommend you a sapphic romance which is called satisfaction guaranteed by corellia steets waters and this is about these two characters i kind of can't remember the one girl's name but uh this is kind of like an opposite to track romance where essentially these two women they are bequeath this um sex toy shop and they have to run it together um and the one girl is like very type a she's a planner and she wants to get things organized and regimented and be really like strict about running this company and her love interest slash business partner selena is a bit uh scatterbrained i would say and she's very much a free spirit and she kind of just wants to go with the flow she wants the vibe of the shop to be very i don't know inviting and quirky the other protagonist um she is just very much not on the same page so it's really about their clashing visions of how they want to run and market the sex toy shop and how they slowly start to like each other and i really really enjoyed this romance like it was so cute to me um i really love the opposites attract trope and i feel like it was done quite well in this and they were just a really adorable couple so like i feel like it was just a good time. It was a really good time. So if you're looking for a new sapphic romance to read, I would recommend this one. It was very fun. Okay, so then I'm going to recommend you this workplace romance series, which is called Criminal Intentions by Cole McKidd. And so Criminal Intentions is essentially like a serialized story um, where each book is sort of like an episode of a TV show. And that's kind of how they're labeled if you go on the Goodreads page you'll see it um so each book is kind of like an episode in a single season and there are like three seasons of the series so far um but it's really good so it's this series about these two detectives Malcolm Kalaji and Song Jae Yoon and they are both homicide detectives and this is like a slow burn romance series about them as they work together and solve crimes and fall in love um but there's a lot of stuff going on. It really has like a strong criminal minds vibe to it, the kind of crimes that they solve. Um, so it's not like a cozy mystery. It's like it has that kind of vibe, um, but also it has a very, very convincing, lovable, slow burn romance. And I absolutely love Malcolm and Songjae so much. And the way that their relationship develops is just so beautiful and amazing and I love it. Um, but I have only read season one, which is about 13 books. And then season two is also really long 
I just haven't gone around to season two, but I am going to read it very soon. Um, and it's just really fun. I think that it's one of the most fun reading experiences that I've ever had because of the way that the series is set up. It does feel like every single book is like a single episode, so it has a really strong like bingeability about it and I remember that when I was super into the series um I was reading these like one a day because it was just that good that engaging and it was really fun and the cases that they were working on were kind of like grotesque and thrilling but it was just like also amazing romance it just gave it really gave I would highly recommend it um if you are like a true crime junkie but also you want a good romance on the side um it gave so then I'm going to recommend you The Replacements by Shay Sanders. This is about this stay-at-home wife named Savannah and basically she discovers that her husband has been cheating on her and she's like, oh hell no, this is not going to fly at all. So while she is getting her affairs in order and while she's getting a lawyer so that she can get divorced from him, she decides that she needs to get a job so that she can start, you know, supporting herself so she won't be reliant on her ex-husband for anything. Um, so she gets this new job as the executive assistant to this CEO named Taurus and this is basically a boss assistant relationship um where Taurus he is this really gruff grumpy kind of boss and Savannah is this really sweet and like placating sunshiny kind of personality and it's about like their personality clashing but also how well their personalities complement each other and they just work really well together and this book is so good it's so funny it's so sexy it's so sweet and it's so good like Shay Sanders did what needed to be done uh and she ate this up it was good like she ate this she left no crumbs it's amazing you definitely need to read it like it's so good so then I'm going to recommend Sweat and Soap which is a manga series and it's going to be a little bit weird so stay with me but Sweat and Soap is about these two characters Tori and Isako and basically Isako she works in the finance department of this soap company and one day she's in the lobby on her way to her desk um and she kind of gets accosted by this man who is like oh my god you smell amazing and she's like uh what what are you talking about what, what are you talking about and essentially that guy is Notori and Notori works in the product development department um, and so he creates the sense that this soap company comes out with for their seasonal lines and he is experiencing a bit of a creative block but he thinks that she smells amazing and he wants to use her scent profile as like the building blocks for this new uh, product line that he's coming out with and so Isako thinks that this is really really weird but she loves the company that she works for so much that she's like I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help the company so he's like I need to sniff you for the next three to four business days so you can help me with this project and then you know you go on about your business and it's very weird it's very odd it's very strange but it develops into something so beautiful like Isako and Nitori are just so adorable together um, I love the workplace aspect uh, Isako and Nitori their co-workers just so good um, you have lots of really sweet moments of them at their job as the series continues you get to see them developing a relationship throughout all the stages of their relationship so like the beginning phase when they just start dating to when they've been together for a long time to when they move in together get married it's just very cute like it's it's just like you get to see the whole um the whole evolution of their relationship from this very strange point and it's just so cute and they're so adorable together and I absolutely love them and the office setting is just so well done in this um and it's just so cute and I love it so much uh I know that the the concept sounds so odd and it is I promise you that it is weird and I do know that but it gets so cute like it gets so cute that you just kind of overlook it and even while it's being weird it's still cute like I don't know I don't know how to describe it I don't know how to explain myself but it's just good like it's just good and I definitely recommend it so you should totally check it out I hope that if you made it all the way to the end of the video you will leave me a thumbs up maybe leave me a comment I'd say comment me the little red car emoji for the morning commute uh, maybe subscribe if you'd like to see more of my face and more of my content also if you'd like to support me you can check out my patreon which will be linked in the description below and yeah thank you guys so much I love you all hopefully I'll see you all in my next one bye